I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV here at AutoSense Brussels, and we have returned to the renowned Auto World Museum. We're speaking today with Philip Goons, who is the CEO of Zenomatics. And Philip, so good to see you today. Likewise, Carl. How are you? So give us an overview of Zenomatics. Tell us a little bit about the company in general. Zenomatics is a solid-state LiDAR company. We have invented a unique way of implementing a true solid-state uh, LiDAR. We are on the market already since uh, 2012, and uh, we are now at the stage of industrializing uh, this uh, LiDAR system. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you're showcasing here at AutoSense. What can the attendees see when they come by your display today? Today we are not so much talking about the basic technology itself, but more about how this LiDAR technology can be integrated into cars. And to me it's very important to make beautiful cars without uh, sensors that uh, stick out. Yeah? So the integration aspect uh, needs attention, and needs attention uh, early enough. The technology has to be uh, conceived in a way that you can smoothly integrate it in the vehicle. And you have a new product here. Uh, I see there's a windshield on display. Tell us a little bit about that and tell us a little bit about the smooth integration into the windshield. Yes, indeed, and that is one of the examples. Uh, we believe that a LiDAR could sit behind the windshield, uh, for example. That's what we are showcasing uh, here. So we have taken care of removing all the influences that uh, the windshield potentially has on the, the, the LiDAR. Now, one of the things Zenomatics is known for is range, and accuracy. So tell us a little bit about why that's important and how your product accomplishes just that, the range and the accuracy. When we move to self-driving cars, the audience will not accept uh, a significant reduction in driving speed. Uh, so we need sensors that uh, look uh, uh, far enough to anticipate very well and uh, to make sure that uh, cars can continue driving at uh, relevant uh, speeds. And that's why uh, we uh, felt that uh, accuracy and range are uh, uh, two very important uh, characteristics. No? That's also the reason why we have invented multi-beam. So we are um, concentrating the, en uh, the laser uh, energy in small uh, uh, laser spots with uh, high coverage uh, to uh, find this best compromise between a good range and uh, still a high resolution. So tell us a little bit about your customers and tell us a little bit about some of the pain points that they have and then some of the solutions that you're implementing for your customers. Yep. Uh, our customers, of course, are the OEMs and the Tier 1s, uh, but mainly the Tier 1s. We position ourselves as a Tier 2 uh, company. Um, we go to the OEMs to get their endorsement uh, for our uh, solution. And the, the main challenges they have is to have a reliable uh, LiDAR technology with good durability that performs under all uh, weather conditions. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's our uh, focus point, to uh, make sure that also in the harsh conditions and um, with a well-integrated uh, LiDAR we can still do the job. How did you come about uh, Zenomatics as far as uh, founding the company, putting the company together? It was my understanding that it started at a, a university, so kind of tell us the story a little bit of how the company came to be. It actually started in a garage and there are many examples, uh, famous examples of uh, successful companies who started in a garage. Uh, we, uh, it's the same for us. Uh, of course in automotive uh, it's more uh, logical to start uh, that way. So in that garage uh, we've built uh, uh, prototypes. Um, actually it's not university uh, technology, it's something we invented uh, ourselves. Yeah. We have built first uh, prototypes to uh, prove our concept yeah. and uh, very special or specific is that we did not start copying what others were doing while miniaturizing it. No, we start with a complete new concept that was fitted on the, the real requirements of automotive uh, customers. We, we went our own way yeah. and that's what we've been doing in the, the last uh, few years and more and more people uh, seem to see that uh, the, the fit between automotive requirements and our approach is actually very well. I think when I said university, I meant garage, Philip. I, now that I, I recall uh, that, yes, it, it was founded in a garage. But that being the case, from the garage to long term, what are the next steps for Zenomatics? Where do you see yourself going as a company in this evolving market? 
Yeah. So we will be a tier two. We are uh, making good progress in making tier ones uh, our customers. So the industrialization and uh, making a mature uh, mass production version of our product is what uh, keeps us uh, busy at, uh, at this moment. Uh, we will be making announcements also in the future about these uh, collaborations. And of course, uh, we're aiming uh, for uh, mass production uh, programs. Uh, we believe this is well uh, within reach uh, from where we are now. And so with that in mind, of all the things you've described from designing beautiful cars to having a robust LiDAR solution, what is the favorite part of your job as CEO for Xenomatics? What, what is the thing that you look forward to every day? I look forward to keeping uh, all the b balls in the air. That's, that's uh, the challenge uh, uh, I have to uh, go through. And uh, it's nice to have uh, challenges. Uh, that's why I started this uh, adventure. Um, and yeah, uh, keeping the team uh, going uh, is what, what I like to do most. And so one more time, uh, let's just go back. True solid state LiDAR. Let's recap one more time what that means for AutoSense attendees and what that means for your customers. Indeed, very good question. Uh, many companies uh, claim they have a solid state uh, LiDAR. In uh, our opinion, solid state means no moving parts. Uh, that's the obvious uh, part of the definition, but also uh, semiconductor based. And uh, we are um, respecting these two aspects in, in the definition. Our LiDAR has no moving parts, but it's also based on semiconductor components on a, on a chipset. Yeah. And that makes it very scalable, that also makes it very affordable uh, for mass production. Philip, before we conclude, do you have any final thoughts? Is there anything to add that's important that we may have missed? I see that um, the uh, market is evolving very well now. Um, there has been a lot of uncertainty about uh, what is the, uh, the right technology, um, will we ever get to uh, self-driving cars, and nowadays there is more and more realism in the market. Uh, the, the, the days of uh, confusion and uncertainty are almost uh, behind us. Uh, people uh, start to see the, the, the way uh, forward, and uh, that uh, gives us a lot of energy. Philip, from all of us here at AutoSense TV, you've been with the family a long time, so we want to wish you a good show here in Brussels and good luck going forward. Thank you for this, and we hope uh, you will be here in Brussels uh, many years and continue with this show. Speaking today with Philip, the CEO of Zenomatics, from the garage all the way to a tier two supplier. For more AutoSense Brussels, for more AutoSense TV, like, subscribe, and share.